Hey guys, what's up and welcome back again. So yes, this is going to be two videos back to back. As you can see from the title, this is going to be a review on Carly Bible's new collaboration with BH Cosmetics and this is her deluxe palette. So um, as you guys know, um, I think I mentioned in my makeup tutorial, I don't know which one's coming out first, but we will see. Um, I mentioned that I did not grab the first palette that she came out with BH Cosmetics just because I didn't feel like it. But now that I find out that the palette will be going away permanently, this is definitely inspo for me to go ahead and grab it and snag it just to have in my collection. But I know why y'all here, so let's get straight into it and talk about this palette. So, you guys, I literally got this palette today. Today is... I got this palette today, Wednesday the 26th of April. And I got it delivered to my mom's house, so as soon as she told me it had came, I dashed over to go get it. When I say this palette is absolutely beautiful, I can't figure out why I didn't get the first one because I am just so impressed. So what I really love about this palette is definitely presentation because presentation, I feel like it's everything before the product nowadays. I mean, just let me know if I'm tweaking, but I definitely feel like people care more about presentation before they even care about what's inside. So I just feel like the presentation of this palette is absolutely beautiful. Um, I see she stuck with the original design of the original palette, which is with the um, pearl in the pin cushion background all white and then it has BH Cosmetics Carly Bible and Deluxe Edition um, in rose gold on the top she has her little signature penguin and I thought that was always a cute touch um, I appreciate when any youtuber puts a personal touch on any collab that they do because it just lets you know that it comes from a special place and it definitely means something to them I'm gonna try to put this on an angle because I don't want my light reflecting my crazy looking room when you initially open this palette this is how it looks I have three rows of shadows and you have two rows of highlighters which oh my god girl I I died I died when I highlighted with these just to just to let you guys know I literally died dropped dead and came back to life like these highlighters literally they could rival some of the top highlighter carrying brands like these are such great quality like oh my god like why have i ever bought the first palette like i just i just don't understand why at this point i'm like talking to myself like girl why didn't you buy the first one so um besides that then on the inside you have the same like marble tone background following then you have of course a mirror and, and then underneath the mirror it says aspire to inspire and i think that is a beautiful quote so yeah so like i said i don't own her first palette but from what i have read up on the palette a few of these colors are from the original palette which i'm not going to say which ones are and which ones aren't but i believe it is the more like mauve natural tones on this side because i did get a glimpse of the old palette and i think this side is where the more newer shadows follow I believe these two highlighters are from the original and then these four at the bottom are the brand new ones. And then also another thing I would love to mention is that she put a nice little touch in the new highlighters. They have this stamped flower in it which I think is just such a beautiful touch. Um, we have that squared away and we determined that we love the packaging. I'm actually going to swatch some of these colors. Now when I did this makeup tutorial I did not swatch any of them. I literally just went in with my brush. So um, I know the pigmentation on some of them is a little bit, um, a little bit on the lighter side for me because I am of like a, a darker skin tone. I'm not that fair, so they look a little bit different than what they'll show up on other people. So I'm gonna definitely swatch. We're gonna go for a few of the champagne shades because those are so like talking to me like these champagne shades like these shades at the top i use them for this eye look those spoke to me girl so let's go ahead and swatch a few yes i just love how they feel okay so i swatched um three of the shades i swatched three of the champagne shades and this is how they look on my fingers very pigmented just amazing pigmentation and as far as the texture of them, they feel like 
butter. Like, I love anything that feels like butter. So that means as far as you blending it, it will be way more easier for you when you won't have to work too hard. They just feel absolutely divine. Like, how they look on my skin tone, I can't wait to do another tutorial. I seriously might do two tutorials with this palette because it just deserves an encore tutorial after this first one. Like, I am loving these. I'm gonna go ahead, of course, and swatch some of the more matte shadows as well. Ooh, she's nice. Okay, let's do this deep brown. Okay, he's nice. The lightest shade, this like vanilla almost. Yes, vanilla, yes. So again, texture is a buttery, like, how can, oh my God, like, why was I sleeping on her? Like, I totally slept on Carly Bible's first palette. Like, after this video, she's definitely gonna come home with me. Like, can you guys, like, see that? Can you see the three shades at the end? Like, pigmentation, insane. Texture, insane. Like, this reminds me of, like, a high quality like eyeshadow like the ones that we go and we pay like 15 20 dollars for so yes like the texture of these are definitely insane like let's go ahead and we're gonna even swatch two more we're gonna do the two that i'm wearing on my eye which is like this pinky rose gold this one reminds me of the one in the huda beauty um palette and i swatched the huda beauty palette in store mm. I don't know if I just need to swatch a brand new palette, but the one they had out, I was not impressed. So, mm. not as I know the Huda Beauty ones, they were a lot more on the gritty side, but these, like, the pigmentation is there, but it's like butter. Like, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say the word freaking butter. These freaking shadows, like, I might need to order another one of these palettes just for like my freelance kit. Like, just because it says BH Cosmetics on it, don't mean you go to sleep on it. Like, uh-uh, we need to stay woke, boo, because this, oh my God, they are coming for us, like, bomb. So I'm gonna get up close, and I'm just gonna show you guys the shades that I swatched on my arm. Of course, some of them are the more metallic -y ones, and then of course, a couple of them are the more matte ones. So here are the shades up close. I have three of the matte shades in the center and then I have the more metallic shades on the upper part and lower part of my arm. Um, as I've been saying in this entire video, these shadows are amazing. The texture, the colors, um, I absolutely adore them and I definitely think you should pick this palette up. Alright, so next we're going to move on to the highlighter shades in here. And um, in my video when I did this makeup tutorial, it was so hard for me not to use my Nicole Guerrero Below Kit, but I did it, and it succeeded. I am dead awake right now. Like, these highlighters are that are in here, they rival some of these more expensive highlighters. And me, myself, I bought quite a few of more expensive highlighters. But I really like these in here, so I might like give these a nice run, like as far as using them. So, um, like I said, these first two initial shades at the top, the one that had the biggest pans, these were in the initial palette that she came out with, and the four are all brand new. So I'm gonna swatch the four new ones at the bottom. <gasps> oh my god! Yes! 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 Yes, Carly. Yes, like these highlighters. What? What? Do you see the pigmentation? What? Yes, like once again, I'm impressed. Like, look at that pigmentation. So, this is how they look on my arm. OMG. Girl, like. I'm speechless like I don't even have any words to describe how impressed I am with these highlighters like what the yes <sighs> speechless that's all I can say freaking speechless right now like I can't I can't even right now like I'm speechless like there's 
sickening. Like, even when I tried it on, I could tell, like, when I put it on my skin, how pigmented they were. It's just, like, sickening. Like, how do you look on my arm? Like, imagine how if I had these, like, four on top of my skin. Like, ugh. I have on quite a few from the palette, but I did not use, like, the deep brown one. You guys have to get this palette. Like, drop whatever you're doing right now and go get this palette. Like, this palette is life right now okay guys so i'm pretty sure you can figure out like how i feel about this palette just from doing the freaking swatches this palette is amazing at the ranking on a scale from one to ten of course ten being the best and one being the worst i would definitely give this palette a 10 across the board the packaging a 10 um presentation a 10 product inside a 10 how they swatch a 10 blendability a 10 like it's just a 10 in every single category so yeah you guys definitely go ahead stop what you're doing go pick up this palette and let me know your thoughts down in the comments on if you already have this palette or if you've been thinking about it okay guys so that is it for this um review on the new carly bible deluxe palette with bh cosmetics Please make sure you go ahead and watch my tutorial on this look using the Carly Bible eyeshadow palette along with the highlighters. And make sure you, of course, love this video, comment, and subscribe. And I love every single one of you guys for watching. And I can't wait to see you guys on my next video. Bye.